Really, I don't hear anything. Is it okay? I, it's okay. Now we can start, Rick. Okay. Okay. So please jo uh, join me in welcoming Dr. Rick Monicelli, who is full professor at University of Versailles Saint Quentin in Yvelines in France. He also chairs the robotic team yeah, at the. Hear anything. Is it okay? It's okay. Now we can start, Rick. Okay. Okay. Everything is delayed. Eh? Rick. Bonjour, Eric. Yeah. Yeah. Double. Est-ce qu'on est synchronisé, Eric? Are we synchronized? Oui. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Rick Mnasseli is full professor at University of Versailles Saint Quentin Yvelines in France. He also chairs the robotic team at the Versailles Engineering Systems Laboratory called LISV and All is he, and he is also the president of non-for-profit French National Cluster for Mobility and Handicap, SRAM. He is passionate about mobility aids, assisti assistive technology, robotics, and embedded uh, systems. So, Rick, you can start. You could have maybe around 45 minutes, and then we'll stay. The we'll have room for questions. Cluster for Mobility and Handicap, SRAM. He is passionate about mobility aids, assistive technology, robotics, and embedded uh, systems. So, Rick, you can start. You could have maybe around 45 minutes, and then we'll stay. We'll have room for questions. Master for mobility and handicap. Graham. He is passionate about mobility aids, assistive, I mean. assistive technology, robotics, I mean. and embedded uh, systems. So, Rick, you can start. You could have maybe around 45 minutes. Amine, Amine, j'entends plusieurs fois ta phrase. Is it now okay, Eric? I heard multi times your your talk. Okay. Eric, you can start. Is it okay. now okay, Eric? Okay. So I. Uh, sorry uh, for this late. So thank you for inviting me. So my talk will be about uh, our lab and the activity around assistive technology, and I will focus on the way we cope. Eric, you can start. We okay, Eric? The way we cope uh, assessment and adaptation so for mobility for assistance. Inviting. So, do you hear me now? I just could get something, but I'm not sure you hear me. Eric? Eric, can you talk a little bit more? Sorry about that, this technical issue. Eric? Yes, I hear, but I hear you more than once. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are delayed. Est-ce que tu m'entends? Oui, je t'entends. Parce que je t'entends trois fois, en fait. Plusieurs fois. Désolé pour ce problème technique, Eric. Euh, on est en train de le régler tout de suite. Non, non, c'est juste que... Est-ce que tu m'entends plusieurs fois, toi aussi Non. Est-ce que tu m'entends Oui, je t'entends. 
parce que je t'entends trois fois. Plusieurs fois. Désolé pour ce problème technique, Eric. On est en train de le régler tout de suite. Non, non, c'est juste. Est-ce que tu m'entends Thanks for your patience. Est-ce que là ça va mieux? On va faire un test dans quelques secondes. Si tu pouvais attendre encore un tout petit peu, Rick, s'il te plaît, on est en train de, de résoudre un problème technique. Ça a l'air J'ai coupé des choses chez moi, ça a l'air de mieux marcher. Est-ce qu'on est synchronisé maintenant Are we synchronisé l'impression, est-ce que... I think we are synchronisé now. We are synced. Can you answer now so that I evaluate if we are synced? Synced? Are you watching the live stream here, by chance? Yeah, but yes. I don't have the, the camera, the display of your... Uh, oh, Eric, you don't have to watch the live stream at the same time. You have just to talk. This is why I understand from IT person. Ah, okay. So I just Yes. Have, okay. This is why... Just talk? Yeah. Okay. So... If it is okay, say yes. Yes, I think we are synced. Okay, so sorry for this delay and problem in my computer. So my talk will be about uh, our activity on the LESV lab in University of Versailles, and I will focus more on the way we cooperate uh, assessment and adaptation for mobility assistance. So I, I will show some uh, some key activity in that field. So, sorry for the picture, it's not as younger as uh, you received before. Uh, so it is uh, the today picture. So, this activity is about uh, our university, University of Versailles. So it is on the southwest of Paris, and mainly known because of the castle of Versailles. And our university is a part of a big new university named Paris Saclay. And in Paris Saclay, you will have, uh, in fact, uh, 18 university uh, group in the same university. So Versailles is on the west, and we are close to different parts of the university, like autonomous vehicle in Institute of Vedecom, and in our place named Velizy, it's more technolo technological part. And across Sa Paris Saclay, we have different uh, components of the university, and uh, I choose to present you FEDEV. FEDEV is a federation of lab on human activity, motion, and so on. So we, we group a number of lab on that field, uh, 
from uh, hospitals to uh, sport and through activity like us in technology and computer science. So the laboratory uh, LISVE has two groups. One is team uh, sensor and nanotechnology, and the second is interactive robotics. I'm in charge of this group, and on this group, you have two activities, as assistive technology and humanoid. So I will, I will speak uh, the, the assistive technology part. So the way we develop our research, it's in two steps. The first one is evaluation. So in this activity, we develop a different functional platform. In fact, the, the idea is to place the user in specific situation, functional situation, and to do uh, analysis, classification, test. So the feedback is for the therapist and for us is, uh, is in the developing of the platform with all the tests and the feedback we could have. And for that, we do it with the CN. You will see it's a specific center close to our lab. lab. And in this CRM uh, cluster, you will find uh, occupational therapist and agronomist. And on the second step is more the design of the assistive technology. And for example, uh, we do different uh, system like uh, the ARM support or uh, BCI interface. So the CRM is an association uh, and it is now the National Cluster for Mobility Aid and in, it is a group of different uh, structures coming from association of users like APF, IFM, uh, with a group coming from the collectivity like Velizy, but also Versailles. You have also cluster of industrial cluster and also some components from insurance or big company. And all together, we want to promote mobility for all. That means evaluation and tests to understand the need. We have some particular structure like a mobility school coming from a pedestrian to uh, a driving school. And of course, we, we promote innovation. So we don't do in this cluster innovation, but we assist, like for example, a startup. So some example of project. So here the B cap. So here we are more looking uh, uh, driving the driving task. So we have developed this uh, platform. Uh, in fact, this platform allow to do tests uh, like uh, the capability to drive a car. So steering wheel and pedals activity uh, could be uh, uh, simulated and could be test. And we could also. Uh, integrate all the devices you can find on different car, adapted car. So this platform has been tested in different uh, rehabilitation center. And for the driving, we, we have a specific school with uh, this car and we have uh, different uh, device to drive like uh, this example in the movie using a joystick. And we have placed uh, different embedded sensors to evaluate the behavior of the driver, different profile of, of, uh, of driver with different kind of uh, disabilities. So the, the idea is to uh, link the previous platform to evaluate and this car to do really the, the driving. So it's an example of our, our uh, way. For the wheelchair driving, we do the same thing, but here we develop different kind of embedded sensor that we place on the, the wheelchair in order to have some feedback about the behavior of the driver. For example, in this uh, project, we develop a methodology to evaluate by comparison. In fact, we compare uh, the, the style of driving of a specific user to a, a, a data of a profile, and by this way, for example, in this project, we, we give to the therapist different, uh, different uh, indicator. Here, it was the profile index. So if the user at the beginning changed the profile, uh, after different tests, we could have a convergence to a specific profile. So it's uh, an additional index that we develop. We do also assistive specific assistance. For example, in this example, 
uh, of project named GiroLift. Uh, the objective is to develop a two-wheel balance accessible solution. What does it mean? In fact, here you have the, the idea that we develop is to propose a solution to help the user to sit, but also to stand directly on a specific two-wheel balance system. So we name it GiroPod. So we have the seat that we place on the different kind of uh, GiroPod. And based on that, the user could be sit or stand, and then he could move uh, and different uh, kind of uh, mobility. And that is, at the end, inclusive. That means that if it is a valid person or a person with a specific impairment, we could use the same system to develop a different kind of uh, mobility. And here you have an example of the system. So it was a, a PhD. So we have the example of so you could see the prototype. Vers le LISV en fonction des thématiques so qu'on aborde. Le user peut et le projet porte sur l'adaptation du système géopodique en fauteuil roulant verticalisateur. Je suis Robert Trinora, docteur de l'Université de Versailles 131. Donc je fais actuellement un postdoc au sein du laboratoire d'ingénierie des systèmes de Versailles dans l'équipe robotique interactive. Je travaille sur des thématiques d'assistance de, et d'interaction. So, so it was the first prototype. So the question after developing the, the prototype was the stabilization. So we develop an automatic uh, assistance for that problem. And today we are looking for the stress because this kind of system uh, is, could be stress for the user. So we are looking in a new PhD, this problematic. And by the way, the GeoLeaf is now also a startup in the lab, outside the lab. And uh, if you go and Google GeoLeaf.fr, you could have a new uh, design of the GeoLift and uh, this prototype was presented at Las Vegas, the last one, and Lambert, so the, the PhD student now, the PhD uh, is in charge of the, uh, of the start. Second project uh, in the same way is virtual fauteuil. That means uh, a platform using virtual reality to, to help to the designer, the urbanist in terms of accessibility. So it was the first uh, goal of this project, developing with different partners. And as you see in the, in the picture down, uh, it's a robotic platform. On this robotic platform, we could place a wheelchair and we have the display. So you could move, you could drive your wheelchair, it could be, it could be a manual or uh, power wheelchair, and you could interact with a specific environment that is uh, virtual. So here you have this example of a platform for manual. And some example of experimentation. Will be. So we, we want to have the same feedback, and I mean haptic. So here you see the example of uh, the test we did on the platform and on the robotic platform. So we have different applications for that. So uh, coming from uh, a bus adaptation for uh, provider of mobility, RATP in France, in Paris, and different example of tests. And now we are looking for a new, a new application. The idea is to develop to use this platform to help the people who want to learn how to drive a wheelchair uh, using this platform. So here an example of this application. La réalité virtuelle permet aujourd'hui de se mettre dans la peau d'une personne à mobilité réduite. Virtual Photoy a été développé par le CRM, EDF et le laboratoire NISV de l'Université de Versailles et financé par la région Île-de-France. Il reproduit les principales difficultés de déplacement auxquelles se heurtent chaque jour les personnes en situation de handicap. Le premier objectif de la solution Virtual Fauteuil est d'évaluer l'accessibilité des espaces, here, habitations ou entreprises lab, afin de proposer aux urbanistes des aménagements pour favoriser le déplacement de tous. Le deuxième objectif est de sensibiliser le grand public aux problématiques de mobilité pour les personnes en situation de handicap. 
Le troisième objectif est de favoriser l'apprentissage de la conduite de fauteuils roulants dans les centres de rééducation en sécurité avec des exercices validés. So today we are looking to different kind of application. For example, we used this platform for uh, the accessibility of different museums uh, in Paris. And uh, we use also this platform with different rehabilitation center to test, the pro to, dev to develop a protocol to help the learning uh, test. So all these projects are linked with different kind of uh, collaboration. So we are going to one project to group every uh, test. Uh, the name of the project is Relais des Mobilités. That means a, a mobility center linked to different living lab. So it's like a network of living lab. So the living lab could be a place to test with different uh, kind of profile, multidisciplinary study, agent with, of course, the end user, and agent with different community and university. So as example of this, so the objective are information, education, and innovation. And to promote that, we have this particular relationship with different centers. So, uh, we start in our lab, but it is an open structure, so we are open to different uh, group, company, and startup. So for example, the two first community was Venizy, and the second was Versailles, but now we are grouping different, like Lyon, Paris, and so on. So we have on the top the, the lab, then the fab lab to do some prototype, the living lab to do the test, and the different actor, partner, to look. And the network to, with different kind of application. For example, the series in, uh, in Quebec, FSAT in South Africa, and so on. So the example, in fact, is the GiroLift project. At the beginning, the GiroLift was a, a demand coming from a, a parents, a family. So he asked for this. So he asked for information. And because there is no information, no kind of solution like GiroLift, we link the, the research. Then today, it is going in startup. The, the evaluation, the test will be uh, executed on the on the living lab so there is a, some loop in this so we develop this with one as an example with Tohoku University so it's a, a system you will see uh, of a wheelchair with pedals so the objective was to develop for elderly person who has got some problem to work so you will see the the first test uh, wheelchair in the next part of the movie so using this kind of uh, pedals, here it's, it was uh, passive, but it could be active. So we could add some automatic uh, activation of the, the actuator coming from the slope, coming from different kind of fields. So you have different tests we did on the lab. So here was developed firstly in Japan, then test on our la uh, living lab with the lab uh, Lisve and with the uh, occupational therapist, yes, so you see the example. And we did the test on different also rehabil rehabilitation center with this system. And as an example of the same thing, so we did test using our prototype, and here it was uh, on the opposite. So at the end, after testing the, the prototype, the system was developed in Japan, in Tokyo. So we developed the same thing with a, a French South African Institute. So it, it is placed in Cape Town and also in Pretoria. So here we have the example of two projects. One was related to a virtual photo. It is a simulator. So here the movie from that. So the simulator is bigger, but the idea is the same. We place the wheelchair on a specific uh, Robotic platform. Welcome. You are about to enter a virtual world in an enabled environment. By emerging this world, you will encounter pathways to explore, objects to avoid, objects to enter, and certain real-world experiences. Feel free to explore all. Use this platform to improve wheelchair driving skills, car driving skills, or to evaluate architectural structures. 
Enjoy the ride. As you see, uh, we place the person in a specific virtual environment and uh, uh, the, the user who can to us. And we have got all the feedback and we can So in the, sorry. The second project, we develop a brain computer interface. Oh, sorry. So here, it's uh, ARM support robot system. So we have two interfaces, one coming from the, the uh, you see, uh, the ARM detection, and the second com coming from the BCI interface. So we mix, uh, we, do in, we develop an hybrid solution to control, uh, the, for example, the movement of the ARM to grab an object, a glass, in order to drink in this case. So the idea was, uh, how to, to fuse the two, uh, two, two way, the two interface, the brain computer and the, the arm. So it was another example of the, the relation between the South African University and our university to do the test. The previous the theoretical part was developed in a co-tutel, in a double diploma PhD, and the tests were developed in the CERN. In our lab. So today we are going in series uh, relationships, so University Laval. So we have different examples, but uh, maybe you know Mobile 6 so a, a specific environment using uh, adaptive mobile uh, geospatial technology. So it was also linked to our project, Accessig. So, and we have specific relationships. And we have the same thing uh, with uh, virtual photo. So normally, in next uh, December, uh, a demonstration will be uh, developed in Montreal around uh, virtual photo. So for, for that, the Living Lab is an open place to test, to, to do connection with end user, and to have indoor and outdoor situation of test and of course to, to assist uh, the prototyping and to assist uh, startup. And we are going wider, so the idea is to go uh, on all the city of Venice. So we are looking for a specific series game. So the idea is to develop monitoring on the city. So based on the geomatic system and based on our uh, connection with the city, we are looking for that. So the idea is to have some feedback on user uh, moving, uh, for example, a user on wheelchair on a, on a specific place. So we, uh, the first uh, test will be from the lab to uh, the tramway, so to the train, and from different station we will have some feedback for the monitoring and for the assistance of driving. So different uh, example of tests with uh, different kind of application. So, and we are looking also some application for golf. So for example, uh, so for us, it's a sports uh, department. So for example, we have specific uh, test using gyro lift to do, to, to do golfing. So because last year it was uh, uh, the date for the Ryder Cup, if you know golf, uh, in Paris, and in fact in Versailles, so it was very close to our lab. So we did some demonstration using Girolift, and we have also a specific uh, project. We are starting uh, mixing art, dance, and handicap. So we are developing some uh, uh, orthesis for dance uh, dancer. So thank you. So 30 minutes. So of course, all this project was developed with uh, all the team. So I will thank all the colleagues involved in this project and thank you for for our for listening me. And I hope I could be uh, clear and you understand our activities. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Eric. It was r very clear. Uh, we still have about uh, 20, 30 minutes uh, for questions. Uh, do we have questions in the room? We have many people attending the presentation online and few people in the room, so maybe they could have some questions. Okay, uh, Eric, please stop sharing the screen with us so that we can hear you and you can hear us uh, in a good way. No one asked, okay. Oh, I can ask the question, okay. You have the biggest question coming from Winnipeg, Canada. Um, have you some projects related to the snow and ice and winter mobility like called by some of the colleagues here? Um, have you some projects about that? Have you some application, uh, uh, applications? Have you intention to do some research in that, in that um, area? In fact, we are looking to, to face this problem uh, connect in connection with the project Virtual Photoix, so the simulator. We are looking today the interaction between uh, the skate and the snow. But the idea is to, to develop this kind of simulator for skiing. That is one, one answer. And the second one is because we have a specific uh, uh, modeling of a city. So for example, if you know that in a specific place, we are, you could face some, uh, uh, how do you say that? Um, snow, that means some obstacles, some perturbation or some risk. We could integrate this kind of uh, obstacle in our representation of the city. And by the way, the user could train or could have some uh, way to say, okay, in this case, maybe it's not for me. I have to, to do some uh, shortcut or I don't know. So the idea is to so t today is to integrate some kind of uh, uh, perturbation on the floor. It could be uh, transformed as a specific place with snow. Yeah, and, yeah, and how you simulate cold? Uh, we don't simulate cold. We simulate the interaction uh, today. It is only in simulation and in this step. We simulate based on the representation of specific interaction between uh, snow and uh, the skate today. But we could say that once we develop the interaction, we could have uh, this kind of uh, simulator, virtual fauteuil, transform in virtual skiing, like something like this. Mm -hmm. I would add some information about that. Uh, maybe I I feel like in snow condition in winter cities, um, snow is not as regular as skiing um, uh, places or mountain or whatever. Ski is almost more funny than uh, uh, rough snow. So uh, how you could deal with that? Do you need, for example, some data from real life situations or something like that? Alors, to have this, to answer to your question, we are going to uh, develop a specific prototype with snow, and we are uh, looking for different temperatures, so the different phase of the snow. So it is a, a project uh, that we are going to uh, this month. Mm -hmm. so we are looking for that. So that means a specific profile of the snow, a specific, uh, uh, how do you say that? Um, phases of the snow and that change the fitness of the snow so, so change the, the interaction behavior between the skates, the ski and the snow and we are looking for different uh, parameters that we could include uh, integrate on the model of the interaction so we are looking for that mm -hmm. Winnipeg is a good place to do Winnipeg is a good place to do some uh, uh, winter mobility um, ideation and testing if you if you want to <laughs> so we are, as i said in my presentation uh, when you you look the uh, holiday mobility so the idea is to have some uh, connection between different cluster of mobility for example uh, you could be one 
one pole of mobility linked in our uh, network of mobility uh, uh, center. So maybe this example of uh, facing, facing some particular situation of uh, snowing, and you have many uh, particularity in that field. So it could be a way to collaborate. Mm, indeed. Um, do we have another question in the room related to that, or maybe another one? You have a question from Dr. Gisbrecht. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you integrate your work with the hospitals or the clinical people that uh, are working directly with clients? So we have some uh, relationships. Ah, in the University of Versailles, you could find an hospital named Garch. Mm -hmm. So in this uh, hospital, uh, because it is in the same uh, university, we have uh, some connection to do tests. So we have this kind of relation, and around Paris and in different places in in, uh, around uh, uh, Lyon. Uh, so we have a specific relationship with rehabilitation center, so it means memorandum and so on. So in this case, we have uh, we could do tests. Our tests could be once, could be just uh, demo with the different prototype with uh, the people, the user in hospital. And in some case, it could be uh, evaluation or research project directly with the team in hospital. Of course, we have a specific uh, protocol that we first have to develop, like you, I think. And uh, in France, we have ethics committee and once we develop that, we could do tests. So, uh, so can I understand that um, Hôpital de Garche and other hospitals in Paris area are part of Relais de Mobilité? No, it's directly related to the CRM or to the lab. Okay. So for example, uh, Maybe it could be an example in uh, BCAP, the platform for evaluation capability of driving. So in this project, BCAP, it is with uh, a Parisian uh, hospital that is uh, focusing the problematic of uh, vision. Uh, and in this case, we, do, we develop tests in, the, in this hospital with CRM, the living, the, the, live, the LISV lab and the specific hospital. We have no connection in the Relais de Mobilité. The Relais de Mobilité, is, it is more the lab or cluster, not hospital. For today, I mean. Yeah, so for today, can you please, since we have a little bit more time, can we enumerate the people who are, the, the, the institutions uh, who are affiliated to Relais to the Mobilité Network? Uh, Relais de Mobilité today, there is no memorandum, but the, the people connected to the involved in this project, it is CIRIS, so Université Laval and uh, CIRIS, we have EPQ and so on. We have uh, in South Africa uh, two universities, uh, TUT in Pretoria and CPUT in Cape Town, and different associations. Here in South Africa there is no uh, hospital, but only association, user association. In Toku, on Japan, there is Toku University. So Toku is in Sendai, it's on the north of uh, uh, Tokyo. And in this place, it, there is uh, one hospital and one rehabilitation center. Mm -hmm. So the requirement to be affiliated to that network is to be university? Uh, I think for today, uh, because we are developing the, the first memorandum will be between uh, Cyrus and uh, UVSQ, okay. University Laval and UVSQ. That will be the first final uh, memorandum. So we are going uh, in the same time for the juridic uh, affiliation, so the model, and to mm -hmm. build uh, the Relais de Mobilité. But the, the idea is to develop something open, but with different groups, different clusters, complementary. So, for example, uh, 
I don't know your you choose a, a specific uh, uh, focusing and if it is uh, complementary to the other that will be a good thing to have this kind of relationship for the relay mobility mm -hmm. so in this in, in in our context in the college of rehab sciences i think that we have a cluster of researcher some interest on window mobility on tele rehab tele monitoring um, ambient assisted living and we have a cluster of private company uh, interested in working with us as well. So could we be part of this network? I think it will be very nice to be uh, to have this connection. So we have to discuss about that. I think if you have this kind of cluster, we are close to you. So the model and the collaboration, I think, could be a nice uh, thing to do. Completely positive for that. Excellent. And uh, again, since we have a little bit more time, because you were fast today, Eric. <laughs> ah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no problem. Because I have no feedback. Uh, you know, when you don't have the feedback, you don't know if you go fast or not. Yes. Yeah, no, so that was excellent. Uh, maybe if you could um, both talk about player projects and how it is. Um, how we are ah, connecting yes. to each other and how we you are connected in France to the uh, healthcare system and uh, you have an OT linked that to, to that work. So maybe, uh, you know, five, ten minutes so to talk about... Yeah. First, first uh, let's talk about PLEA. So PLEA, I don't present PLEA because I choose to only the mobility projects. PLEA is about uh, computer access. So we develop it uh, in uh, for, uh, for GARCH, for hospital... Uh, uh, Garge. So it was previously a software to, to like a tool uh, for the therapist to test the user using a joystick, uh, using different kind of uh, interface. So with Playa, it's a free software, it's an open software, so you could develop your own test or you could use another test coming from a partner uh, and you have different tasks like uh, uh, using in fact, you need to, to test how the, the patient or the, the user uh, use the, the interface, the joystick, the mouse, and different kind of trackball, for example. So it could be pointing or it could be a drag and drop test, and you have all the feedback, the data, coming from the test. So this, plat this software today is developed, you could use, and you have one solution in... So I think, I mean, you could develop, you could show the, the performance of PLEA. And yes. for that, today, we develop it with um, uh, two hospitals. One is Samoris. Uh, it's a, plat a computer platform. The hospital is on the uh, south east of Paris. And today, uh, it's new. We just finished a test with uh, orthophonist. So for uh, user with uh, uh, dyspraxia, so the idea is to use this kind of support, test support, to do this kind of uh, test. So basically, it's always the same thing. You develop your test with your partner. So you could say it's a protocol. And then you could have a test, and all the feedback could be shared between the partners. So it's very easy to uh, to upload, to use, and to share the data. I mean, the data could be the test, or could be the, 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 the data coming from the test by the user. Mm -hmm. Very clear. So uh, that we are working together on this project, we apply to the WCB, Worker Compensation Board. Uh, hopefully, if we get funds, we will work for two years to improve this, um, to finalize this prototype and um, put it in uh, three languages, if you confirm, uh, Eric, we have a partner. In yes, because in this, I forget the, this point. So uh, the, pre the first version was developed in French. So we are looking for an, an English version, an Arabic version, and a Spanish version. So we have one partner in Mexico, one partner in uh, Middle East, and uh, and you for the English version. And we are looking also for new kind of application using this software. Mm -hmm. 
So because we have all, for example, we have the possibility to to go to tablet version using the same test, the same platform, the same uh, software. I mean. Excellent. So here in my YouTube, I identified the need uh, with OT um, from OT by discussion with OT to use that. So I'm connecting with OT here and the MSOT network as well to develop um, uh, this. And um, so once again, as Eric mentioned, this is an open source uh, software. So we both today <laughs> uh, invite everyone to use it because it's online. You have just to contact uh, the Eric Monacelli team to get it and to use it on any uh, Windows-based um, uh, computer. Exactly. Yeah. And you are connected to all the, the group of UT that use today this software. So more of them are French, but the idea is to develop uh, the population, the user of that, and to have some specific relationship of user group of users that will be uh, like a cluster of player user. Excellent. Any other questions from the room? Have you any other things to add, Eric? No. no. I know your time is priceless. <laughs> no, no. I hope I could come, uh, I don't know, in, before the end of the year to explain that directly. Yeah, we have to get to, to, to get to get you to, to yeah to invite you for for some times here to work with us. Yeah. In the winter, Archie Cooper told you in the winter you need to test your simulator, but in life, in real life. Yes, yes, I want to see the winter in your country. Yeah, minus forty, and you feel it minus fifty, sixty. <laughs> no problem. Today for us, it's uh, something around forty. So. I prefer to have something minus. <laughs> Just come to Manitoba then. <laughs> so thank you very much, uh, Eric, for this presentation. And uh, on the name of the College of Fab Sciences, uh, we thank you very much for this and uh, for all those explanation and information. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me and thank you uh, for listening to me. That was Bye. great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.